then on Tuesday night, it's the same stuff. Um, on Tuesday, we looked at um, how to get into the leg lock entanglement um, from threatening upper body submissions. So we looked at the triangle, we looked at the arm bar. Um, both those were defended by um, your opponent posturing, which give us entrance to the legs. We're just going to work the only data. Um, from close guard, anyone that was here for the Williams guard mesocycle, you'll find this very easy. If you weren't, I'll just do a quick recap. So again, most commonly in no gi, um, if, if, if uh, Matthew's hands weren't, weren't there, I'd be pulling to get him down here to keep his posture broken. At a real basic level, he has rib cage control. So when I pull with my legs, he's made frames and he's staying postured, which is a good thing from inside the guard. So we're just gonna swim inside. So I'm saying a prayer and I bring um, Matthew's hands towards the mat and now I'm going to swim out on my left side. To keep his posture broken, I'm going to bring my right leg over this left shoulder, bring my right hand underneath the back of my knee and I'm going to grab my hands just with the cable broken. So yeah. it's important that um, keep Matthew's head away from me because now I've got ankle. If my left hand wasn't there, Matthew could walk back and now he's flop me out again and have to do it all again. So I want to keep that angle, see that made a frame against his neck here. Good. And now there's an open elbow on his left arm. So from this position, all I'm going to do is my right hand cups his left shoulder, the back of my left hand comes underneath the calf, and I start bringing it towards his head. I'd only get it so far, and then I turn my hand, and I basically pull my foot over his head. Now you get in the open part of the position, I let go of the shoulder, I bend the elbow, and I march straight back. Now I'm going to kick my legs forward to get my monkey shoulder on my mat. Turning my feet back when I'm playing the other bottom position, I can really need the shoulder to the mat. I want to make sure that I'm right in him. This goes under. Make that connection. And now I'm just leaning towards his far shoulder. Matthew's um, defense is in the process of me going for that, he's going to posture, which will give us an entrance to the legs, which we covered in Tuesday. So I'm here, swim inside, you bring him down, you shrimp out. If you haven't known Williams guard and you want to get into the Oman Plata in a different way, that's cool. Bring this leg over, and now my hands come underneath the back of my leg, and make that frame and that wedge, keeping Matthew's head away from me. This allows me to keep my angle. From there, my right hand grabs the shoulder. Okay. My left hand, once I'm here, comes under the back of my hand against my calf. I start to pull my leg forward and then he just turn my grip. Once I have this over my head, I switch to the elbow and I start to extend my volley to try and now get into the almost out of position. The second arm here and Matthew starts to posture up straight, that same hand that had the elbow is going to underhook the leg and as he postures, I have inside control with my right elbow. Same stuff as before. Left foot comes under the armpit, he's strong, his weight is on his knees, I need to bring him down, so I use that foot to bring him to his hands and knees. Same back as last time. From there, I just windshield wiper on my right foot to the far hip. My left foot comes over and makes a wedge, and I connect my left heel to the inside of my right knee. Grab the foot, pull it forward towards his butt. And now to force him to roll, I put tension in that leg by just torquing it to my left. As he back steps, he taps the leg, swing my foot inside, control the secondary leg, foot to foot, knee to knee, we're in a solid position. So here, we break him down, cut an angle, we switch to Williams guard, my right hand grabs the shoulder, back of my hand comes underneath the calf and I start to bring them my head's quite close to Matthews, I'm moving my head back to create space. Then I pull my leg over, find the elbow. I need to free this bottom leg, I'm coming under. I try and get into the bottom position, but before I can physically sit up, my goal is to sit back up. My goal is to sit up. I want to have my back off the mat to get into the bottom position. Matthew doesn't give me the opportunity. He's already posturing. That hand that has the elbow, it's going to underhook, and I get my right knee on the inside, that's the detail. Left foot comes under the armpit, and then I push to get his hands on the mat. From there, windshield wiper, my foot, far hip. My other foot finds the far hip too. I make that connection. He's inside the knee, grab the foot, 